What is up, Web3 people? Welcome back to another Morales tutorial video in which you're going to check out how you can create a Morales stream that not only listens to live blockchain events and transactions, but also gets the address of the user who's performing these live blockchain transactions and gets the native balance of this address. So especially useful if you're looking at ERC20 tokens being transferred, and you've noticed that a Ethereum whale, so their Ethereum balance, their native balance of Ethereum is massive, purchases some of these tokens, you might want to know about this. So let's see how this would work in practice. We've created a simple stream to look at Chainlink tokens being transferred, and we have this webhook server running over here where we're listening to these streams. So let's go ahead and transfer some Chainlink tokens, and we're doing this on the Mumbai testnet, so we're looking at the native currency Matic. So account 1 over here is 0x42, we have 14.3 Matic, and our account 2 over here has 52.76 Matic, so in our terms, a whale. And their account address is 0x5DAD. So let's take our account one over here, take our chain link tokens, let's send some chain link, let's transfer between our accounts, account two over here will now receive 1.6 chain link tokens, let's press next. Let's confirm this transaction. And now follow the magic as this transaction goes through, we should get a live blockchain event occurring over here, we got the details over here in our webhook, account 0x5d8 D, which is our account two with a Matic balance of 52.76, which is accurate, 52.76, just acquired 1.60 link tokens. How sweet is that? So you can now track the native balance of any wallet address that is performing live blockchain transactions on any EVM chain. Follow this video to learn how to do this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020, and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym, and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, let's dive straight into this one by creating a Morales stream. So Morales stream, of course, allows you to follow live blockchain activity for any of the parameters you set. And then the point of this video is to showcase the get native balance functionality, which then allows you to get the native balance of any address you are following the live blockchain activity for. So here I have this folder called new stream where I have a stream.js file where we create our Morales stream. Of course, we bring in Morales first and .env, which allows us to store our Morales API key securely. And then we can initialize Morales over here in this, these three lines. And we're using our API key from our .env folder. And this Morales API key you can, of course, get from your Morales admin dashboard. And then we only have this one simple function called streams. And what it does, it adds a new stream based on our options object over here, it stores it in this new stream variable. Let's check out this options object where we define first of all the chains we want our Morales streams to query. In our test case over here, we'll be looking at the Mumbai testnet for Polygon. Of course, you could look at Ethereum mainnet, Phantom, Palm, any EVM chain supported by Morales and Morales supports a whole bunch of EVM chains. Then let's give a description for our stream. We're finding Matic whales buying link tokens. So in our case, we're gonna look at the Matic testnet, and we're looking at link tokens being transferred, and we want to find out the Matic balance, so the native balance of Matic, these addresses that are purchasing link tokens have. So this way we can determine if any whales are accumulating link tokens. Then we'll give it a simple tag, link transfers. We're including contract logs to be true because of course we're working with ERC20 tokens. The other options would be native transactions or internal transactions. And then we have to specify a webhook URL where we can send our Morales stream. So we have this URL over here. It is a simple Node.js Express app, we have this running over here on localhost 3000. We have one simple endpoint called webhook, which at the moment currently only console logs the body of the request that's sent to this endpoint. And this will of course include our Morales stream. And we have locally running a ngrok tunnel which points to localhost 3000 so we can actually access this endpoint. So that's what you're seeing over here in the webhook URL. And then we use this details to create a new morale stream. But now let's add the details that we want to look at. So we're looking at link tokens. So let's do that first. Let's first of all, get the application binary interface for a transfer event of any ERC20 token, in our case, a chain link token. So let's open up Google Chrome first like so. So here I'm on my Morales admin dashboard. We don't have any streams, but for now, let's check out our MetaMask account. This is a test count. We have, we're on the Polygon testnet. So the Mumbai test network, we have 15 chain link tokens. Let's open this up and open this up 
in the explorer polygon scan over here and we get the contract address over here but let's look at the contract first let's scroll all the way down we have the contract abi and over here we can find the transfer event so just like so we find the transfer event over here let's copy this and paste that over into our js file so jumping back into visual studio code let's get create a variable we can for example call it erc20 transfer abi and then let's go ahead and paste what we just got from the polygon scan explorer like so so now we have the erc20 transfer abi over here which we can use as the api for our options object also let's go ahead and add a filter variable so we won't be looking at all the erc20 transfers so this will be very useful if you're looking at chain link tokens of the value of over a million or any specified number or a range of values so we don't get all the transfers of chain link even smaller numbers so let's create that over here again a variable called erc20 filter and for this let's just add a simple filter like so so what this means is that these two conditionals have to be true for our stream to be fired so the value of chain link tokens has to be more than one so of course chain link has 18 decimals so that's the 18 decimals here or less than two so this will just help eliminate a lot of other transactions that are happening on the network so we can see this in the tutorial for your cases you might be looking at chain link tokens over the value of a million like I said or whatever tre threshold you're looking for now let's go ahead and add the details over in here first of all we'll have to add this ABI ABI which is our ERC20 transfer ABI ERC20 transfer ABI and of course the topic is transfer and it has three inputs so let's implement that as well topic zero add it into an array and paste the transfer topic over in here voila like so and then finally we can add the advanced options to take use of this filter we created over here advanced options like so and this will of course be an array as well no semicolon let's add a normal colon over here and let me just paste the advanced options in here like so so of course our topic zero is the transfer topic like we set for our abi as well and the filter will be our erc20 filter over here now the final piece of the puzzle for tracking the native balance of any of the addresses that are transferring these tokens we have to define that key get native balances get native balances let's make sure we type it correctly get native balances and in here we have to again provide an array and then an object where we have two keys the selectors like so so the selectors are any of the addresses that are provided as a response from the morales stream for erc20 transfers so you'll have a to address and a from address and the key names are to and from so in our case because we're looking at new addresses that are acquiring chain link tokens we'll look at the two addresses and you also always have to precede the key name with a dollar sign and then the key name so two in, a in the case, if you wanted to get the native balance of the sender of the transfer, you could use from, like so. But the selectors essentially just make sure that you use the key names that the Morales stream provides as a response. We can check that out after we start getting responses so you can see all the different selectors you could use. And now the type is the second thing we have to define. And in here, you have to define which Morales stream response you are looking into. So of course, we'll be looking into ERC20 transfers. So ERC20 transfer, but you could use NFT transfer as well, internal transaction, or you could use a transaction. You can check out the Morales documentation where we have all the valid selector types and types you can use to get the native balances for. But this just identifies which type of Morales stream response you're looking into and the selector, the key name, which is the to address. And that's all you have to do. Now, finally, as we've already set, we're creating the new, where we're using Morales streams to add our options object over here which is ready but then we console log stream created but what we can do after that is we can acquire the id of this newly created stream and add the chain link token address to be the contract we want to listen for transfers for so let's do that next over in here we acquire the id of the newly created stream so the new stream we take the json format and destructure the id and then what we can do is get the contract address for chain link so opening up google chrome again if we scroll all the way to the top we see that the contract address is over here we can copy that jump back into visual studio code and create a variable for that like so of course if you are on a morales business or enterprise plan you can add a all addresses key over here all addresses to be true 
which will allow you to listen to all ERC-20 contracts, not just a specified contract. But for now, let's keep things simple and just look at a single address, which is Chainlink token address, and let's add that to our stream. So what we're going to do is await Morales streams to add an address. And the address is the one we defined over here. And to which stream we added to, we added to our our newly created stream based on its ID. And then we can console log that the ERC20 contract to follow has been added like so. So now this will create us a new Morales stream, which gets the transfers of Chainlink tokens between the value of one and two, sends them to our webhook URL. And also because we define this get native balances key over here, we will get the native balances of the two address of all these ERC20 transfer streams. How sweet is that? Let's go ahead and save that, open up our terminal. So here you see we're listening to streams on our webhook URL over here, but let's open up our other terminal where we're in the new stream folder. And here what we'll do is go ahead and run node streams dot js which will create us this new stream let's open this up full screen of course it's stream dot js not stream dot streams dot js so let's go ahead and run this and you see we got the console logs meaning that our stream was created stream created and we set the erc20 contract to follow that is added as well so now if we open up our other terminal where we are listening to streams, we receive our initial webhook, which is an empty webhook, including the response structure for Morales streams. And now what we can do go and do is we can close down this file structure and go ahead and make a chain link transfer between one and two and see the response where we'll get the native balances. So let's open up Google Chrome, go split screen mode, like so. And while we went to split screen mode, seems like after our first empty webhook, we received another webhook, we see the ERC20 transfers, we get a value with decimal 1.5 chain link tokens was transferred, and the native balance of the wallet address that received these chain link tokens has three 3073 Matic tokens, so the native currency on the Mumbai test network. But let's try and do this ourselves as well. So opening up MetaMask over here, let's go ahead and take our Chainlink tokens. Let's send some of these, transfer it to my own, own accounts. Let's transfer it to account two over here. Let's go ahead and transfer 1.8 Chainlink tokens, press next. And then we want to confirm this, confirm. And now as we're sending these, we should get a webhook after they are sent just like that, we get the new Morales stream. So over here, we sent 1.8 Chainlink tokens. The from address was our account 1, 0x42. We can check that out over here in MetaMask, 0x42. And we sent them to our account 2 over here, which is 0x5DA. And our native balance is 52 Matic. And over here in the native balances key, you see that the address that acquired these chain link tokens, 0x5DAD, has a balance of 52.76 of the native currency, which is Matic. So you, this is a way of very simply tracking the native balance of users acquiring ERC-20 tokens. And as I said, you could do this for all the ERC-20 tokens if you wanna see what sort of tokens whales with native currency are collecting. Very, very sweet. And we can make this response a bit neater, but one thing I wanna talk about here is the selectors. So our ERC-20 transfers was the type of response we were looking for, and the selectors are over here. So you can see that the from address, the from address is over here, and the to address is over here. So that is the selector types we would want to use. Now, if you're looking at native transactions, you'd use the transactions response. And if you're looking at inter internal transactions, you'd be looking at transaction internal. So here you'd have to find the specific key over here that you'd use over here, if we open up our Explorer, goes to our stream.js, close down our terminal for a bit over here. Here in our get native balances, the selectors are what you provide over in here. And also always remember to precede the key name with a dollar sign. And for the type, use the response type you're looking for. And in our case, it was ERC20 transfers. Now let's go ahead and do one more test, but this time let's go into our index.js for our webhook URL and change the response type over here. So now we're just console logging the body, but let's go ahead and remove that and go ahead and change the response type slightly. Let me just paste it in over here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a few variables. So the amount of tokens that was transferred, we'll get that from the body. The type of the token that was transferred, we'll also get that from the body. The two address 
and then finally the native balance. So all these we can get from the body of the response, like you saw over here. But now we're just formatting it nicely, console logging the address with a matic balance of the matic balance acquired a specific amount of these chain link tokens and then the to token symbol as we're only looking at chain link tokens it'll always be linked but if you're looking at all addresses you could see the link balance over here now let's go ahead and save this restart our webhook so scroll over to the bottom Control c and go ahead and run this again so we're listening to streams let's go ahead and open this up close down our file explorer and do the same transfer over here let's open up our google chrome on the side now let's go on our account 2 account 2 over here which is 0x5dad let's go ahead and into our assets we have 27.5 link let's go ahead and press this send some over to our own account account 1 over here and this time let's send for example 1.1 link let's press next and we want to confirm this now this is sending and we should get a nice response over here with the matic balance of our account 0x42 which is our account one and we just acquired 1.1 link and that is exactly what happened account one over here has a balance of 1.92 matic 11.92 over here and they just received 1.1 chain link tokens how sweet is that so now you know how this native balances functionality for morales streams work i hope you put this in the good use and as i said there'll be a link in the description to the documentation if you want to take your morales streams live blockchain event listeners to the next level i'll catch you in the next one